Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss the difference between centrifugal and reciprocating pumps. Here I will take the working of the reciprocating and centrifugal pumps. By that, we will come to know the directly the difference what are there, how those two differs instead of listing the all the points so that we will become the very clear about the differences. Here, this one is the centrifugal pump. As name itself tells that by the centrifugal action, the lifting of the water is taking place. Pump is used for the lifting of the water, and by the centrifugal action, the lifting of the water what is, is taking place that we we'll call as a centrifugal pump. It consists of a inside a rotor. Or an impeller and outside casing, an inlet connection and delivery connection. And here inside this impeller is connected to a electrical motor or a any other prime mover so that it will be starts rotating. And initially, this casing should be filled with the water. It should be filled with the water, or the air from the casing will should be removed. And when the impeller starts rotating, it will be uh, rotates along with it the fluid by the blades what it contains. And due to that, the centrifugal force will be acting on the fluid. The centrifugal force is the outward force of the fluid acting during its rotation. And due to that centrifugal force, it will be pressurizes the fluid in the delivery line. And as the fluid contained in the casing will be pressurized, made the flow in the delivery line, the from the partial vacuum will be created inside the casing. And due to that, the flow of the fluid from the this inlet valve to the casing is taking place. Inlet valve consists of that foot valve and the strainer. Okay, which will allow the flow of the fluid, clean flow of the water flow should be taking place to that one. And due to the its pressure, the fluid will be pressurized in the delivery line. Due to that, the water will be lifted for the particular right. And this other, uh, that is a view of the operation also we can see here. That is a side view. The fluid is entering from the section and that is be Discharge in the delivery line. Okay, the similarly will take the working of the reciprocating pump. As the reciprocating means here, it consists of the cylinder and piston which will be reciprocating inside the cylinder, inlet and the discharge valves, and the crank shaft which is connected to a prime mover to get the rotary motion and the Conversion of that rotary motion into a reciprocating motion by using the connecting rod, connecting rod and the crank shaft. And here, when the piston is reciprocating inside the cylinder, here the rotary motion will be converted into reciprocating motion by this connecting rod. This is the connecting rod and the, this cross side. And that will be connected to a piston. This is the piston. Okay, then the piston will be reciprocating inside the cylinder. When it is moving backwards, when it is moving backwards, okay, here inside the vacuum will be created. Inside vacuum will be created the pressure below the atmospheric pressure. So that outside pressure is atmospheric pressure, and inside if it is a below the atmospheric pressure, there is a vacuum pressure. Then here delivery valve will be get closed and due to that vacuum only this valve will be get opened get open and the fluid from the uh, some it will be flowing to the this cylinder the fluid will be enters into the cylinder during the return motion of the piston and when the piston is moving forward when the piston is moving forward it will be pressurizes the fluid inside the cylinder and during that time 
due to the pressure itself the suction valve will be get closes here we can see the how the all element will be sitting on the valve seat and due to that it will be get closes and delivery valve will be opens the flowing of the fluid will be taking place to the del delivery line or a discharge line and this will be continuously the reciprocating motion of the piston is taking place continuously the fluid will be entering to the cylinder and discharging the delivery even though it the flow will be continuous little fluctuating it we are going to get and by knowing these the differences we are going to mention the first one is that principle of operation here for the centrifugal pump it is a centrifugal principle it is working and reciprocating pump it is a reciprocating motion we are going to get the second one is a priming the priming means it is a filling of the liquid inside the casing to remove the air from it that is required in the centrifugal pump it is required filling of water in the casing is required otherwise if air only present in that one during its rotation air will be get compresses the water will not enter into the casing from the suction if it is filled with the water this water will be first pressurized in the delivery line and later the remaining fluid will be enters into that one to occupy the replaced fluid that is required and in this one it is not required due to the vacuum what is creating that is a higher vacuum and due to that only the fluid will be entering into the engine cylinder the next is that flow rate centrifugal flow uh, pump having the higher flow rate higher flow volume of the fluid it will be discharges and this reciprocating pump flow rate is lower and fresher the discharge fresher at the exit the what the fresher we are going to get from the pump that fresher will be lower in the centrifugal pump the fresher will be lower in this and in the reciprocating the fresher discharge fresher is higher the next point the head head means it is a vertical distance for which water we can lift from the pump the what height or a what distance vertically we are going to lift from the pump that is called as a head okay then here this is lower in the centrifugal pump and higher in the is reciprocating pump these are the common uh, differences we can mention that one the operating principle uh, discharge pressure and volume of the fluid is flowing and the prime priming these are the main main differences what are there between these two and we should know the applications of these two pumps before going to the list of the differences here the centrifugal pump can be used as a agriculture application for the irrigation purpose it can be used for the domestic water lifting and it can be used for the industrial water lifting and reciprocating pump it can also be used in the industrial applications and it will use in the fire extinguisher because the smaller volume is there but the pressure is higher which is producing at the nozzle if of the fire extinguisher pipe and that will be at the larger distance we can charge the water where we are going to or uh, extinguish that whatever the fire is there then at home while service center and the usually at home while service center for washing purpose this reciprocating pump we are going to get there the higher pressure the fluid water will be discharged from the pump so that due to that pressure only we can clean the, the all the parts of the atom boil okay these are the different applications of the these two pumps the operation as well as the differences and we can take the list of the some other differences between these two pumps those are the properties for the centrifugal pumps and reciprocating pumps what are the differences we will take that one first one is the operating principle centrifugal force reciprocating piston motion is required fluid flow of the liquid is 
high flow rate is there in the centrifugal pumps low flow rate in the reciprocating pressure capability here in this one lower pressure capability that means discharge pressure is the lower and higher discharge pressure we are going to get from the reciprocating pump efficiency of pump efficiency for high flow rates is high as flow rate is higher and due to that output we are going to get as higher one then the efficiency is more for the centrifugal and efficiency is low for the reciprocating maintenance minimum maintenance or minimal maintenance and durable okay only the reciprocal rotary motion of that impeller is there and due to that less moving parts less maintenance and it requires a more maintenance mechanism less complex mechanism with fewer moving parts less complex mechanism is there complex mechanism with pistons valves and other moving parts handling of fluids can handle several types of fluids what are the different types of the liquid fluids it can handle can also handle the different types of fluids preferably with low viscosity low viscosity fluids only it will be pumps compared to the centrifugal cost less installation and operational cost and high initial cost is required for the reciprocating pump dirty water can lift the dirty water also but it cannot lift the dirty water okay only the clean water or a clean fluid we are going to lift from it which is should be a low viscosity and the dirty water is having the higher viscosity it cannot lift okay the centrifugal can lift it discharge pattern continuous and smooth the continuous flow rate we are going to get as i told you that one here the fluctuating and pl pulsating flow rate because during each operation of the piston moving uh, backward and moving forward there is a flow will be in gap between the two uh, strokes of the piston okay there is a flow will be fluctuating the flow will be pl pulsating okay even though continuous we are getting little pulsating it should it will be there and for that we are going to use the accumulator and that will reduces the fluctuation in the flow rate application used for large discharge through a small heads small heads and large discharge where it is required we can use it is already i have mentioned other different applications meant for small discharge at high heads at high heads small discharge okay that already i have also mentioned for this installation area needs a smaller area and needs a larger floor area for this reciprocating pump okay like this okay the differences as well as the operation i have explained thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment